from Sarah's Holistic Health and today I'm going to show you how to make kale chips. So these are really good healthy alternative if you can't stop snacking on crisps and um, you're trying to watch your weight then kale chips are really moorish um, and I'm going to do a cheesy kale flavour so if you like like Watsits or Doritos or something like that then they're similar to that. So I've got massive bag of kale and the rest is really easy. Okay so for the ingredients you'll need a lemon, nutritional yeast which is what gives it the cheesy flavour, tahini which is pulp sesame seeds, I've got some sea salt this is pink Himalayan sea salt and some tamari soy sauce which is a wheat free soy sauce and also of course the kale. Now this already comes in like bite sized pieces but if you bought it whole, if you just ripped it into um, pieces about this size then that would be perfect. Okay, so, I pour my kale into a bowl and I'm making, like, I'll probably make about half the this bag of kale. I'm making some for my friend Sam, who um, tried some the other day and now she is addicted to them. And I mean, they're a great alternative to crisps. Kale's loaded with iron, calcium, vitamin A, vitamin C. It's really, really good for you. So if you're trying to cut out on um, the unhealthy foods, then you can snack on these guilt-free. Okay, so I've rinsed off the kale. So I've got it in my sieve here. And then we have, I've measured out all the ingredients. So there's about four tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Four into here. I've got my sea salt, and that's about a tablespoon. Then I juiced one lemon. Tamarai sauce and I've done just under a quarter of a cup. So it's just under 60 mils. Then the tahini. So I've done half a cup of tahini. I'm just going to put some um, filtered water in there just to uh, thin it out a bit. So I've got a cup here but I'm going to put half a cup in first. Yeah that looks good. Okay so I'm just going to blend it up now. and thick. So now all I have to do is pour this over the kale and then massage it in. So I'll show you now. Okay so I'm just going to pour over the cheesy sauce over the kale. And all I need to do now is massage it in. So just make sure that all the kale is covered. Okay. 
and the kale actually starts to wilt once you are massaging it, so it gets a lot smaller. So you can add more kale at this point if you need it. So that's covered really well and you can see the pieces have got a lot smaller and they're all coated. Okay so now I just have to put them in the dehydrator um, so I'll show you how to do that. Okay so I've started laying out the kale on the dehydrating sheets so I've spaced them out it doesn't matter if they lay on top of each other as long as they're quite spaced out and I'm just going to continue so I've probably got about two sheets worth here, so I'm just going to lay out the rest. Okay, so I'm going to use dehydrator. This makes them, it takes out the moisture from the kale and will make them crispy. So they'll be going in the dehydrator for, they take about 10 to 12 hours um, at I put them at 105 and the reason that we use um, a dehydrator is that if you cook um, food under a certain temperature it, you can still keep the vitamins and minerals in the foods um, and the enzymes without totally killing everything. So it's a very low temperature which means it cooks um, very low for a long period of time. So I'm just going to turn the dehydrator on now and put them in. I'll keep an eye on them. If you don't have a dehydrator you can actually use your oven at the lowest temperature that will go and keeping the door open slightly you can then do your kale chips in there and still keep um, most of the minerals in them. Um, you'll have to keep an eye on the oven I'm not sure how long they actually take um, in an oven so if you just keep going back and checking but if you keep it at the lowest temperature and with the door open and it should still work. Okay so once they're ready I'm going to get them out of the dehydrator and show you what they look like. Okay so the kale chips are now done they've been in the dehydrator for about 10 hours so here they are and they are all crispy and you can see um, the coating on top so I'll bring one up closer. So this is a dehydrated kale chip. They are this crispy, they just break up in your hand, so they're ready to go. So I'm going to bag these all up for my friend Sam. Um, I keep them in an airtight um, glass container like this. If you keep them in an airtight container they'll last for a couple of weeks, um, maybe even a month. Um, it depends if they last that long in your house. I know these won't last very long at all. But um, I hope you like the recipe. Give it a go. It's really easy. Um, like I said, if you don't have a dehydrator, use your oven instead um, at a low temperature. And um, yeah, try and eat these instead of crisps and other savoury snacks that aren't very good for you. These are a great replacement. You're getting all the vitamins from the kale and they taste really good. So there's no reason not to eat them. Okay, so I'll be back again with some more recipes for Sarah's holistic health. Have a great day. Bye.